In this video, I'm going to explain the upcoming changes to MediShield Life that will affect every Singaporean from April 2025. You'll learn how these changes impact your healthcare coverage, what it means for your wallet, and how to make the most of the new system. Let's dive in. Hey friends, welcome back to the Investing Iguana channel. I'm AD, and if you're new here, I've been covering topics like stocks, finance, CPF, and everything related to growing your wealth in Singapore. I'm proud to say that our channel was ranked 8th in the 2023 Influential Tigers by Tiger Brokers, with over 800,000 reads. We've also produced over 500 videos with more than 250,000 watch hours as of September 2024. Today, we're tackling a crucial topic for every Singaporean, the upcoming changes to MediShield Life. MediShield Life, our national health insurance scheme, is getting a major overhaul starting April 2025. These changes are in response to rising healthcare costs, and they're going to affect both claim limits and premiums. The government has accepted recommendations from the MediShield Life Council, and I'm here to break it all down for you. Let's start with the good news. The policy year claim limit is getting a significant boost from $150,000 to $200,000. This is a big deal because it means you'll have more coverage for those hefty medical bills that can pop up unexpectedly. To put this in perspective, in 2023, about 50 patients per year exceeded the current $150,000 limit, mostly due to prolonged hospital stays. This increase will provide greater assurance for patients facing exceptionally large bills. Daily claim limits are also increasing, which is great news for anyone who might need a hospital stay. For normal ward stays, the limit for the first two days will jump from $1,000 to $1,630. That's a 63% increase. If you end up in the intensive care unit, ICU, the daily claim limit is more than doubling, going from $2,200 to $5,140. This is crucial because ICU stays can quickly rack up enormous bills. Outpatient coverage is getting a significant upgrade too. For example, if you're on kidney dialysis, your monthly claim limit will increase from $1,100 to $1,750. This is particularly important because kidney dialysis is a long-term treatment that many Singaporeans rely on. The scheme is also expanding to cover new outpatient treatments. This includes things like repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation for depression and home-based medical care. These additions reflect the changing landscape of healthcare delivery, where more treatments are being done on an outpatient basis or at home. Now, here's something really exciting. MediShield Life will now cover high-cost treatments that are both clinically effective and cost-effective. This includes cell, tissue, and gene therapy products, CTGTPs, for serious conditions like cancer, as well as high-cost drugs for blood disorders and conditions with childhood onset. This is a game-changer for patients who need these cutting-edge treatments but couldn't afford them before. Let's talk numbers for a moment. The Ministry of Health estimates that the MediShield Life and MediSave limits for CTGTPs will be sized to fully cover two in three subsidized patients initially. This is a significant step towards making these advanced therapies accessible to more Singaporeans. Now, you might be wondering, Iggy, how are we going to pay for all these enhancements? Well, that brings us to the not-so-good news. MediShield Life premiums will be going up. Over the next three years, premiums will increase by a total of $1.8 billion. That's a substantial amount, and it's important to understand how it might affect you. But before you start worrying, let me tell you about the government's support package. They're offering $4.1 billion in assistance. This includes $3.4 billion in MediSave top-ups and $700 million in premium subsidies. According to the Ministry of Health, this support is expected to more than offset premium increases for over 90% of Singaporeans in the next three years. That's huge. Let's break down this support package a bit more. Premium subsidies are being enhanced, especially for lower- and middle-income Singaporeans in older age groups. They'll see their subsidies increase by 5 to 10 percentage points, meaning they could receive subsidies of up to 60% from April 1, 2025, up from 50% currently. There are additional MediSave top-ups for different age groups. For example, Pioneer Generation Seniors, those aged 75 and older in 2025, will see their annual top-ups increased by up to $300, bringing the maximum annual top-up to $1,200.
The Magella package, which was announced earlier, is getting a boost. The one-time MIDI save bonus for those born in 1973 or earlier will be increased to $2,000, a $500 enhancement. There's an additional MIDI save bonus of $500 for people born between 1950 and 1973 to be paid out in 2025. For those born between 1974 and 2003, the one-time MIDI save bonus is being increased from up to $300 to $500. Even newborns are getting a boost. The MIDI save grant for newborn Singapore citizens will increase from $4,000 to $5,000, fully covering their MIDI Shield life premiums until the age of 21. Health Minister Ong Yi Kung summed it up nicely when he said, the package far exceeds the increase in premiums. Therefore, we're taking this opportunity to also build up the MIDI save balances for Singaporeans. Now, let's talk about some other changes you need to know about. To filter out smaller, more affordable bills that can be covered by MediSave, the inpatient deductible for C-Class ward stays is going up. This will happen in two phases, once in April 2025 and again in April 2027 by up to $1,500. The idea here is to focus MediShield life coverage on larger medical bills and moderate the extent of premium growth. Starting January 1, 2026, there will be a new annual outpatient deductible of $500. Remember, a deductible is the amount you must pay in each policy year before MediShield Life starts paying out. This change reflects the growing importance of outpatient care in our healthcare system. For those of you who prefer private care, heads up. The proration factor for private, unsubsidized bills is being lowered, with some exceptions. This means you'll generally have to pay more if you opt for private care. The government's aim here is to encourage the use of public healthcare facilities and keep the overall system sustainable. Now, let's talk premiums. With all these expanded coverages and higher claims, MediShield life premiums need to go up. Older Singaporeans will face larger increases. But to manage this impact, the total premium increase will be capped at 35% and phased in evenly over three years, from April 2025 to March 2028. By the end of this period, the average increase per policyholder is expected to be around 22%. To support this phased increase, there's going to be a one-time release of $600 million from the MediShield Life Fund. This is actually the first time such a release has been made. As of December 31, 2023, the MediShield Life Fund held $14.2 billion in assets. This release is made possible by a change to the fund's risk model, and it won't affect the scheme's ability to meet its claim obligations. You might be wondering why these changes are necessary. Well, MediShield Life was introduced in 2015 with the aim of covering 9 out of 10 subsidized bills. But due to rising medical costs, this coverage has dropped to just under 8 in 10. The enhanced claim limits are expected to bring this back up to the original target of 9 in 10 bills. It's worth noting that the last MediShield Life review in 2020 resulted in an average premium increase of 25%. These reviews typically happen every three years, so we can expect the next one around 2027. Health Minister Ong Yi Kung emphasized that these adjustments will help patients cope with rising outpatient costs, such as kidney dialysis. He said, if nothing is done, it's only a matter of time before kidney dialysis patients come out of their own pocket and pay cash for dialysis. This underscores the importance of keeping our national health insurance scheme up to date with the evolving healthcare landscape. He also highlighted the need to address the rising costs of advanced medical treatments like cell, tissue, and gene therapy products. While these therapies are expensive, they offer the potential to cure severe diseases such as cancer. Ong stated, if we do nothing, chances are, in time, only the rich can access such treatments. This expansion of coverage to include these cutting-edge treatments is a significant step towards ensuring equitable access to healthcare for all Singaporeans. Here's an interesting tidbit. From the third quarter of 2025, as part of a three-year trial, policyholders aged 40 and above can redeem MediShield Life premium discounts via the Health Promotion Board's Healthy 365 app. You'll be able to convert 150 health points to $2 off your premiums, double the regular rate. This means someone who does about 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity per day for a year could enjoy an $80 discount off their MediShield Life premiums. It's a great incentive to stay healthy and save money at the same time. So, what does all this mean for you? Well, it's a mix of good and not-so-good news. 
On one hand, you are getting more coverage and access to advanced treatments. On the other hand, you will be paying higher premiums. But with the government's support package, most Singaporeans should see their increased premiums more than offset, at least for the next three years. As always, it's important to stay informed about these changes and how they might affect your personal finances and healthcare planning. Keep an eye on official announcements for more details as we get closer to the implementation date. Remember, healthcare is an investment in yourself and your future. While these changes might seem complex, they're designed to provide better protection for all Singaporeans against large medical bills and to ensure that our healthcare system remains sustainable in the face of rising costs and advancing medical technology. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Investing Iguana channel. We're always here to break down complex financial topics and help you make informed decisions about your money. And if you want to learn more about managing your finances in Singapore, check out our video on maximizing your CPF contributions for retirement. It's a great companion piece to understanding how our healthcare system works with our retirement planning. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay healthy, stay wealthy, and I'll see you in the next video.